So, hello again. Um, now, we're not having a very good day. So basically, I've just been clay pigeon shooting over the road there. Uh, everyone's gone home now. Um, so I thought I'd bring the XJR out. And it's broken down. I can't believe it. We seem to have run out of electricity, so I don't know why. Um, I'm currently now waiting for the AA man to come out. Uh, and see what's the matter. But uh, somebody here who had a battery tester put it on. He said there was only eight volts in it. So um, it's a bit weird. I've been here about four hours, five hours parked. So I don't know why it's drained the electricity. So we're about to find out. Um, the guy's trying to find me, but because I'm in the middle of nowhere, it seems a bit chaotic. So hopefully he does, because I don't really know where I am myself. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'll bring an update soon. So we're moving again. Um, the AA man was pretty good to be fair. He did a battery check, alternator check. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. He said, actually this car has nothing wrong with it electrical wise. He said, you've either left something on um, to go flat, which I did check the car. When I got back it was flat. I did actually have a look to see if I'd left something switched on. Um, and I found nothing. So that's a bit weird, isn't it? Um, I did ask him if them bulbs I put in could have had something to do with it, and he said he didn't. He seriously doubted that very much. Sorry, I'm just going round roundabout. Um, so yeah, it's a bit of a mystery, really, what happened there. Um, the only thing I can think of, and what he actually did say could be a possibility, I only use the car at weekends, yeah. And to be fair, in this rubbish weather, I mean, I don't use it simple as that it sits in the garage I might go in there once every two weeks or once a week start it up let it run for 20 minutes and he reckons the battery because these Jag X jars have everything running on them he says the battery when you left might have only just been enough charge to actually you know run the car so when you've drove you've had your lights on your heater on you've had everything running yeah on the car and basically what he reckons might have happened is because it's the battery was low before I left and I did about a 30 mile trip. It may not have been charged up enough before really I left. And basically it's part, you know, it's used a fair amount of electricity. I think I sat in it a while as well uh, before we went in the shooting, you know, we had the, I had the heated seat on at one point. And maybe it just used that little bit too much electricity. And then I came back to the car later on because I put the wellies on. I changed my shotgun for a different shotgun because I have a semi-auto and a side-by-side. -side. Um, and yeah, I'm wondering, has that caused the issue? You know, even did it not shut the boot properly? Did it not switch the boot light off? I don't know. But let's be honest, there's nothing, at least there's nothing major wrong. And do you know what the worst part of all this is? I actually jinxed myself um, four days ago, didn't I? Do you remember? I said about nothing's broken on the Jag in that video where I was putting the bulbs in. And there I was calling the AA today and I broke down. Jinxed myself absolutely jinxed myself so let's never speak of uh, breakdowns again yeah so uh basically i've got a trickle charger and i'm going to put one on because it probably will help that issue if you know what i mean um so it don't happen again it's just i was a bit unsure whether you could put a trickle charger on this car and also it's never gone flat so i've never needed to put a trickle charger on but uh that's what we're going to do now we're going to actually go and put a trickle charger on this jaguar yeah so basically i've got this maintenance charger um, I used this on the X300 actually, the blue one I used to have. So I'm just going to put, I've got two, oh no, it's all gone wrong here, hang on, oh, we're all tangled up. So this, I'm going to connect onto the battery terminals, and then this is your plug, so you can just unplug it when you drive off. So I'm hoping this guy, this AA man, uh, was right, what he was saying about the battery level. So uh, let's find out. So there we have it. Um, good. So what we do now? Oh, I can't. That'll be right. So now we're just going to put this boot floor down. So there's the maintenance charger. So you just unplug it when you want to go in. There we have it. So um, theoretically, that should do the job. We'll see. <laughs> so the car started straight up. Um, Perfectly, yeah, no errors or anything. No, just the normal ones that should be on. Um, as you can see, there's no fuel in it, 
so we're gonna have to go and get some more. So this maintenance charge has seems to have done the trick because I, I was getting warning lights when a car had sat in here for like two or three weeks and apparently it's because there's not enough electric in the car to keep everything running, I don't know, but apparently that's something to do with it. So uh, yeah, what I'm gonna do is basically in the next week, I'm gonna nip out, grab some petrol uh, and then park it back in here and not put the maintenance charger on. Now, uh, just leave it a couple of days and then come out and see if it just starts straight up or not. All right, which I think it will do. I think it was literally a blip. Um, I don't think it had enough electricity in it when I broke down, but uh, it has now. I think that was literally the problem. Even the guy who uh, checked it over thought that was the problem. So hopefully that's sorted it. So uh, yeah, we broke down. Can you believe it? But there you go. So um, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Uh, it, if you do leave your XJR in the garage, get a maintenance charger, right? It will save you a lot of problems, which seems to have done me. Uh, so yeah, until next time, see you later and have a happy new year.